everybody! Um, I'm Shonda from Renaissance Angel Boutique and I want to share with you some of the things in my Dollar Tree haul that I got today. Um, some of the videos that I will be putting out soon will be a um, remake of a old TV console turned into a dog bed and then also I'm wanting to make a space in my closet um, that's just for me, just for me to relax in, hang out in. I do a lot of crafts and things like that. Um, so I'll be doing some uploads on some DIYs and crafts and vlogging and just things like that. So if you are interested in those things, stick around, hit subscribe. Um, brand new, I'm a newbie. Not really sure what I'm doing yet, but we're gonna give it a go. So since I'm new at this and not really great at um, the camera work yet, I'm going to film this with my phone. Uh, here comes Bella. Hi, Bella. Over here we also have Paisley uh, and my massive Dollar Tree. Um, anyways, I'm going to film it from this angle so you won't see a lot of me in the uh, during the video. Um, yes, Paisley. Hello. Hello, Paisley. Lay down, please. Um, but you will see me at the beginning and the end of the video. So, first thing, let me get Paisley out of the frame. So, first things first, I know it's early for fall, but I bought these because I knew they would be gone, and I loved them. So, I bought four of these um, fall pine cone. I love the, um, oh my goodness, slipping the words here. Um, yeah. Hello. Cotton? Yes, cotton. There it is. I love these little cotton pieces and little branches. And so I bought four of those. Then I also bought these beautiful purple flowers because there was only about um, four of them and I bought two of them and I knew they were going to be gone quick. I'm not typically a purple person and I actually prefer other fall colors like oranges and yellows and reds, but I really liked this purple. There's Bella again. Go lay down, Bella. Go on. The next thing I got um, was some canvas art that I thought was really, really pretty. And my daughter is redoing her room, so I thought that maybe she would like to put these in some sort of arrangement. Um, but I got four of them. Here's the first one. There's a second one. Let me see if I can get that to focus in a little better for you. Sorry, there's a glare coming off my uh, camera. Here's the third one. And the fourth one I absolutely love and I may steal and put in my office because I just think it's so cute with the typewriter and the succulents and cactuses. So the next thing I got was some candles. Um, I always smell their candles while I'm there. I got this double caramel, this cookies and cream, and this um, calm. So recently we had one of our sweet puppies um, pass away from cancer, and it's been about a month now, but we have a, a couple of pictures and some floral um, set up on the fireplace, and Every day we light a candle for him. Uh, we miss him terribly. And um, um, anyways, that's we. That's why I'm running out of candles. But um, that's for him. His name is Dexter. If you wanted to know. Also along the lines of animals, I got one of these for our Jack Russell, where you can see her derriere there. Um, and then I got this other one for um, our Jack Weenie Dog mix, and maybe at the end of the video we'll show them trying those on. I'm sure they'll look really, really cute on them. Okay, kitchen items. Boring, but necessary. So I don't know about you, but in our house, for some reason, um, these disappear, and people use them to scoop out whatever. I've found them in the dog food to scoop the dog food. I've found them in the flour. I've found them in the rice container. Um, so I'm always missing these. So 
I bought another set of these Betty Crocker one cup, half cup, third cup, fourth cup measuring cups. Did I, how many times did I say cup? Cup, cup, cup. Also for the kitchen, boring I know, but necessary, I got 29 count um, Glad zipper bags, double seal, um, BPA free microwave safe. I didn't know they were microwave safe. That's cool. Cool to know. And then I found, uh, yes, I found lemons. I love the lemons. I haven't seen these. I've seen a lot of other people haul these, but I have not seen them. So I got one pack of these. Then I got the oven mitt. And I could only find one of the um, placemats. But I figure it'll be cute in the middle of the table and I could put like a little lemon display or I have a basket with artichokes in it that I really like so I might display that on top of that. Um, also for the kitchen, my daughter loves uh, strawberry lemonade and we saw these peach lemonades and raspberry lemonades and thought we'd give them a shot. Um, I pretty much do keto. I want to say pretty much do keto pretty much do keto but I try to stay pretty clean with that and these um, I thought might help actually I didn't actually look at the ingredients maybe I should look at what's actually in them so let's see if I can get this to focus uh, maybe sorry there we go well uh, eh, it keeps going in and out but I will just read it off to the side there is three carbs and one sugar. It has um, crystallized lemon, citric acid, lemon oil, lemon juice, cane sugar, stevia leaf extract. Mm, the more I read it, the more I probably won't actually um, drink these, um, but my daughter would like them and they're still pretty low in sugar and low in carbs. Um, I also buy these for my daughters. They love the ocean water. Um, so I picked up a couple more of these um, for them. Also along the keto lines, I'm hoping, of course, you know what? I didn't read these either. I don't know if it shows it. Um, they have these juicy juice waters. Sorry. Sorry for that. Let's see if I can get it to focus. Uh, juicy juice waters. Um, I got it in Fruit Punch. There we go. That's a better angle. And then I also got it in Orange. Let's see. And they have, let's see, um, no carbs, no sugars. Um, see if I can open one up enough to see what's actually in it. I think it's just water and flavor. It says contains less than 1% juice. So let's see here. Let's see if I can get this to focus so you can actually see it. Probably not. Okay, let's go on here. Um, anyways, when I open it up a little bit better. Oh, here we go. Ingredients. Filtered water, organic lemon juice, concentrate in organic flavors. And then the fruit punch is filtered water, organic lemon juice, concentrate, organic flavors. So anyways, sounds like they're about the same thing. But one's fruit punch and one is orange. So we're going to give those a try. Let's see, do I have any more kitchen items to share with you? Um, these could be kitchen or bathroom, but I always buy their hand soap there. Uh, my favorite one was a basil, I can't remember if it's a basil mint. I can't remember what it is exactly, but that one was my favorite one. They don't have that right now, but this Himalayan, uh, Himalayan salt smells so good, and so does the coconut and mango water or mango, I don't know if it's mango water or not, but I use those in the bathroom, and then I also use them in the kitchen, but um, mostly in the kitchen I use Murphy's. Oh my gosh, not Murphy's. Um, Method, and there's another one that I use. I'll try to remember. So in the other, kind of kind of along the same lines, but I always buy toothpaste. We were running out of toothpaste, so I got a couple of Colgate toothpaste. Then I also got um, Band-Aids and 
a couple of these new skins. I'm hoping these will work for my husband. My husband works as a vendor and he is unboxing um, chips all day long. And so he gets these um, cracks on, on his thumbs and his fingers and stuff. Um, and, and so this I'm hoping this new skin will help something that he can just like seal it up right away and then be able to still go back to work. But if not, then there's always band-aids for him. Excuse me while I let my dog outside. And I'm back. So also along bathroom beauty, um, that sort of thing, I got a couple of these. Aren't these the prettiest? I love this packaging. Um, but I got two of these um, face wipes. Uh, one of them is the, let's see if I can get it to focus. So terrible. Gonna have to invest in a camera soon. But pink sea salt and rose water. And then this one is a coconut water uh, hydra mist. I have this smell in a different packaging and I really like it, but I just keep these on hand because uh, I have two teenage daughters and myself that all wear makeup. And uh, these just come in handy for us to quickly remove makeup. With that, I also got these. I thought this was a pretty good deal. This Dove Intensive Cream. Um, I really wish this camera would focus better. Um, intensive Cream. Cream Intensive. So if you didn't know how to say it the first way, then you could turn it and reverse it and say the other way. Then I also got this Beauty Cream. Um, so I'm going to give these a shot. I think probably leave it by my nightstand um, just to put on my hands and sometimes on my feet before I go to bed. Look at that! Look at that! Look at that! Quick! Quick! Check a look at it before it goes out of focus. And then also I got um, two fra fragrance sachets um, for my daughter's rooms. I uh, figured they could use them in their in their dresser drawers. Oh, let's focus, shall we? Let's focus. Uh, this one is linen, and it smells pretty good. I'm not a huge fan of the smell of linen. Uh, my husband loves it, but I, I'm not a huge fan. I like this one much better, this passion fruit. Um, and let's see who makes this. Well, it says it's good for bathrooms, trash cans, autos under your seat, vacuum bags, closets, and gift bags. I never thought about putting it in my vacuum. I wonder if I could try that and see if it puts a good smell out into the air. This one, this one smells pretty good, so maybe I'll steal one from my oldest and try it in the vacuum. Um, all of us girls in the house... My husband's so outweighed by girls. There's three of us, and then there's two female dogs, and then we have four female guinea pigs, and um, we did have a pigeon, but the pigeon actually went to a new home yesterday. She went to go live in on a pigeon farm. Um, maybe I'll do a story about her and um, let you guys know about that, but comment, comment below if you would like to know the story of the pigeon and how we came about having her. Um, so anyways... She was also a female, so yes, he's definitely outnumbered by the females. I got um, scrunchies, and I figured, since all of us girls in the house all wear black ones, I figured I'd get a, a few of different colored ones. Maybe we could say, oh yeah, that one's mine, and no, oh, yeah, that one's mine, and maybe we'll steal each other's scrunchies all the time. Um, so I got this black and white polka dot one, this hot pink. Uh, these aren't picking up, but they're... There, you can kind of tell they're a dark brown. Then I also got a tan, a stripe, and a blue. So those will come in handy. Um, I know there's a big debate of whether or not these are called scunchies or scrunchies, but I grew up in the 80s and I always called them scrunchies, so I don't really know. Um, I'm going to call them scrunchies. Okay, what else? I have noticed this purple lip gloss for a long time and honestly I love purple lip gloss but I'm not really sure um, what this is going to look like. Uh, hold tight and we'll we'll try it on real quick. Okay I've got that lip gloss and we're going to give it a shot. Um, 
I'm also trying out false eyelashes and um, I kind of feel like the corners are coming off up here. I feel like I can see it moving around so we'll have to play with those a little bit. Okay, let me get this out of the tube here. You can't see the tube. Now you can. Let's give this a shot. I'm no beauty guru, so don't judge. No judgment here. Mm, that's not too bad. Mm, might have a little too much on there. It has a taste, like it's sweet. Mm. I don't really smell anything, but it tastes sweet. Or maybe it's because I've got um, chai tea chapstick on, so maybe that's what it is. I don't know. On to the next stuff. Okay, you got to tell me. These are adorable. I bought an elephant one, too, um, but I'm not exactly sure where it is. Um, for my office or where I work, I'm a business office manager, and I am a mentor for the company, so I travel a lot, and um, I got these luggage tags because I just, I just, I could not resist. I love the flamingo. I love the cactus. I love the pineapple. I love them all. Um, and I also got a um, elephant, but Honestly, I don't think my bags, even though these would really show up, I don't think my bags are going to get lost because I have bright yellow bags. And um, every time I'm at the airport, everybody's like, well, you're not going to lose that. Okay, what else? Let's see. I think we're getting near the end. Um, I did buy three decks of cards. In our house, our family plays cards. Um, mostly, it's... I would like to teach my kids more, but me growing up with my cousins and my uncles and my dad and uh, family, we always played cards. We played rummy, we played kings in the corner. Um, the biggest card game that we played was rook. So um, we have a couple of decks of those. But one of the things that we like to play is um, nibs. And I don't, comment below if you know what nibs is, but basically it is everybody has their own deck of cards. And we're all playing. Uh, you have four cards here. You have four cards flipped up. You have 13 in a pile down here. And then your object of the game is to get rid of your four cards here. Or excuse me, your 13 cards here. So you can play off of these. And you can play off of the cards that are all laid out up here. Um, and play off of each other's cards. And the game moves really fast. So um, when we are done... It, like I said, the object of the game is to get rid of your 13 cards down here. All your cards up here count as points. And then what you have left in your, whoever has cards left in their pile, that counts as a negative. Um, I hope you can follow, I hope you're following along with me. But anyways, it's a lot of fun and it moves really fast. And if, the more players you get, the more crazier it gets. You see all these hands flying in and people screaming at each other, oh, I was going to do that hearts. Anyways, lots of fun. Um, but I bought more cards so that we all could have our own um, design and be able to count easily and sort easily. Um, hopefully, you know, they're kind of all like the same color patterns. Or not color, not patterns, but kind of the color, color scheme. I could see these two getting mixed up pretty easily. But anyways, hopefully we can follow patterns better than that. Let's see. See here, I think we're down to the last three, three, yes, three things. Um, I got this adorable bag. Um, I've been buying bags lately to um, get our groceries in. Um, I know you can recycle the plastic bags, but I just feel like, seriously, there's too many plastic bags. Every time I go to the grocery store, there's too many plastic bags. And we do reuse them and we do recycle them. But um, not only is it just not something I want to have, um, I'm doing my part. Um, but also, these are so much easier to carry and haul. So, you know, when, when you would have 20 bags, <clears throat> you might have uh, 10 or less. So I got this for groceries. Of course, I... I have a Jack Russell, so I got the pets one to put all of their leashes in 
their um, vests and things like that in. And then I absolutely love, love, love this bag. It's a Hotel Transylvania bag, but how cute are those heart eyes? I love it. I love Sugar Skull stuff. I know that's not really Sugar Skull, but absolutely love this bag. Okay, guys, so that was it for today. Um, like I said, later on I will be doing a um, TV, old TV console remake um, for a dog bed and I'm looking forward to doing that. I wanted to do it this weekend, but I just didn't have time to get everything prepared for it. I need paint and I need a couple of um, pieces of wood to lay in. I'd like to wallpaper it, like make it super cute, um, sew a bed for it. So if you're interested in that, um, stay tuned. I'll be doing that. I'm hoping to upload a video every Sunday um, to begin with, and then we'll see how things go and see if I can move on to um, more later on. Um, also, I um, might do some keto cooking with you. Um, just just random things, things that are going on in our lives. Then um, we like to have fun. Um, we like to be entertained. So um, I'm going to try to get Bella back up here and put her little cute, um, her little cute bandana on and we'll take pictures of that and insert them here. Thank you everybody. Please subscribe. Please hit the button so that you know that when I've uploaded a video and welcome. Um, if you're new here, so am I. Oh, does hers have her bandana on? Bells, bells. Bella. Let me see your bandana. Oh, so pretty. Look at that pretty girl. Paisley, you want yours? Hey. Hey, get off the Dollar Tree haul. Paisley. Look at that pretty Paisley. Oh, yes, my girls are so pretty. Yes, they are. Oh, you like? Yay. I love how the camera gives them evil lives. Okay, till next time. Bye-bye.